As always, you're watching the show. Please get interactive. Facebook join us on TV, and you know where to watch us. Our regular channel is on YouTube, my John Line TV. As always, we bring you exciting things. We've been talking about health uh, advocacy for patients. Now streaming it into the issue of all the things that need to be done for the street child and I was talking children that are involved in robotics. Many of you now know that the children are more intelligent than you and I, the adults. And they watch all these things on YouTube and on TV. They play with a lot of machines, logos and all, Legos and all that. But Many of you have watched that movie, Pacific Rim, talking about uh, robots and all that. That's why the Ghana Technical Secondary School, uh, they said to represent apparently Ghana at this year's robotics festival in Michigan, <laughs> Michigan, United States of America. <laughs> and ahead of that, we want to have great conversation with those children and their um, uh, patrons who will be accompanying them to Michigan, United States of America. Well, we are here. Let me just introduce uh, you to them. And uh, just close to me is um, Mr. Nyakunlati. Uh, Abeku Nyakunlati. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then you also? Kelvin Udrabwaji. Kelvin Udrabwaji. And they've been accompanied by Mr. Henry Kweku Bwafu. He's a lead consultant and coach for the GSTS Robotics Club. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, We're privileged sir. to have you here. Thank you. And um, the first time I watched anything on robots was in a Hollywood movie. Mm -hmm. Then I followed up with all the things from Japan and the things that they do great about it. And these children, they're going to talk to us about. But sure. what was all the issue about robots? Ghana, we do Konko, Konko car <laughs> and all that. What's all the issues about robots you're bringing to Ghana? Why? Um, l l let me start by saying that... Um, Robotic education came to Ghana, you know, on a large scale at the senior high school level by one Dr. Ashiti Trebi Olenu. He works with NASA in U.S. and he formed the Ghana Robotic Academy Foundation. So by their lead... When know, was that? Th that was in 2011. Yeah. And they are sponsored by a number of organizations notable uh, among them is the uh, United States Embassy you know so um, we got involved in it right at the the beginning and a few challenges here and there you know things fizzled out but robotics in general helps you to think deep you know it's not um, something you can just wash off you know you you have to be observant you have to be critical you have to bring a lot of things into play and we think that it will help the, the students in their studies so that is why uh, we are moving away from um, the concrete things that we were talking about you know because the world is advancing technology mobile phones and whatsapps and things like that we can't remain you know in the past so you decided to put together this club Yes, and these young uh, boys, they're, p they're part of the club. Yes, so these are these are um, in, for all the members, these are the most brilliant. You decide to bring them here. Um, I wouldn't say most brilliant, but he Kelvin is the captain, okay. And um, there are a number of them scattered, you know, Takra Day, but for this show, they were um quite close, you know, yes. to represent them. Okay. So it's let's good. see, something. I always try and live in a crowd, okay. <laughs> All right, but, but but let's speak to you. Um, and you're Kevin, right? Yeah. Okay. F for w for all the things that are said about robots and ex and things, ha as a young child, or let's say as a child who has been introduced to it, what were your first preconceived ideas or your fears before you entered it? And then what have you learned so far? Okay. So far, I have been able to learn how to program robots construct robots then use use mathematics in programming yeah it means you're you're a math geek yeah. you like mathematics yeah numbers quadratrics yeah <laughs> <laughs> all those equations x hiding somewhere and two down somewhere yeah mm -hmm. the equation of a straight line finding the circumference of a circle and that kind of thing. it all helps you yeah so it means if you're not good at math charlie don't go near yeah but you you you, you can treat to be good you can train mm, yeah okay so how is it is it um that you have to get familiar because when when these are the children are familiar with legos with things they fix and all that mm -hmm. 
do you think, with all the experiences you've had since joining the club, is a basic for you as a child to get interested in robotics? Well, I believe that children already are into the use of technology and the world is also rapidly getting involved in technology. So I believe that as students engage in robotics, even children at their very young age, as they engage in robotics, as they study, they can get used to. Yes. Another example, let's say, is that of Gauss. He was a Swedish also. A scientist? Yeah. Yes, a scientist. At the age of eight, his teacher asked him to, he was talking in class, and then as a form of punishment, his teacher asked him to how, find out how to add from one to hundred. And then at that very young age, he found out that, okay, what if the teacher asked him to add up from one to thousand? That would be too cumbersome because he can't keep on adding, adding the numbers. So he thought in his head and he came up with a f formula that if I reverse it and then I add the one to the hundred and multiply it and divide it by two, you still get the same answer. So children are brilliant, as I should say, and the more they engage in it, they will get used. Yeah. So it means that you should be able to participate in brilliant science and math quiz. Yeah. In national science and math quiz, otherwise you'll be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but um, if you look at the older generation, those who are not math and science by us, there's a certain phobia. I think they are always afraid to get close to numbers and things, science, etc. As children who are now curious, because now we have your generation and those uh, below you very curious, um, what can we do to get you interested, get children interested in, in joining a robotics club for which you are you're even a member? Okay, I think we should start with the basic schools. We start when they are in their basic level from the primary schools, we introduce them to computers, they'll get used to the system. Yeah. So I should give my laptop to my two, two, yeah. two, two sons? Like, you, you introduce them to it. They'll mess up my files. <laughs> yeah, you can get one for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, C can I add Yes, something? yeah, you can. I, I remember when we first um, had to compete at the 2014 um, national competition in Accra. Ah, they've done it in, Ga in Ghana before? You have a national competition? Yes, and um, like I said, um, Graf is responsible. That's Ghana Robotic Academy Foundation. They organize the national competitions, even um, the international ones. They are the, um, they are the organization responsible for, for it. And they sent word to us that, look, you guys will have to come to Accra because we didn't get schools in Kumase you know, registering in large numbers. So if we came to Kumase for the competition, it was going to be competing against yourself. You know, so we had to go to Accra. And you can imagine the interest. The children just love to travel. You know, we, some have ne had never been, you know, to Accra, the capital. Then I made it a rule. There are basic things you need to know equation of a straight line to use them in the calibration of your light senses. And then there was this class three girl, you know, his daddy came to me, apparently the headmaster of the school. How do you expect Ohima to, you know, and I said, well... I think I can relate. So because I wanted to ask you, how do you expect my eight-year-old? Yes. And I don't limit children. So what I said is, well, if Ohima cannot understand the equation of a straight line and apply it, then she cannot go. Because that is what we are going to do. Will you believe it? The elder brother taught Ohima how to calculate, you know, the, um, find the X and Y, the gradients and all that. And she was able to calibrate the light sensor. So if it, it was left to you and I, we just, oh, she's a small girl and what, what do you expect from her? Don't limit the children. So they have such clubs around the country? Yes, some. Oh. There are few, you know, the, because of the challenges there. So apart from GSTS, which other? Oh, there are a number of schools. Number of schools fall in the category of few. Um, Premper College has a robotic club. Opukuwari Secondary School has it. Wesley Girls, um, St. Louis had it. You know, they still have it. Um, uh, St. James, 
in Accra, Presec, uh, the discos, I, only the discos. Not only the no, discos. No, off. You see, because off. of the financial. No, no, say off. <laughs> because of the financial no, aspect, off. You will need the backing of alumni. So or the PT. stronger your mm. or pretty, the stronger the um, alumni. You know, the more. Just because it's expensive. It's expensive. All right. So what have you jo uh, enjoyed most mm. being a club? And how do you feel coming to participate in, the, in that competition or the seminar or whatever it is in the United States? Well, I would say that uh, mostly in the club, I've enjoyed in house program. And is it like computer programming? Yes, please. And the building of the robots. You have to think critically. It involves teamwork. So you have to learn how to relate to the people around you and also you have to brainstorm, you have to research, do more research to find out better solutions to the problems you are faced with. And you too, um, you're, you're the boss, <laughs> the team captain. Yeah. So how do you rally around your people and now that you're going to participate in the robotics festival in Michigan, what, how are you looking forward to it? First you rally the people and then now you participate in the program. Yeah. We have to come together and then have an idea how a robot is going to be like our final design and how how we can make it in the competition. We are always interested in winning the competition, not just competing. Yeah, I say so. You have a winning spirit. Yeah. So they're going to participate in the festival, and that's your last um, co comment. Okay. They're participating. It's not necessarily because they are winning, but because mm. you want people to them learn. to be exposed yes. and to learn as well. Yes. They are going to see the above They are good. <laughs> yes, they are. Yeah. Very so good. when are they going? Um, actually, we we are praying to have the nod to to participate because we we, we have yes the visa. <laughs> You know, we are, we are praying and we are, we are hoping that um, we'll be given the nod by a U.S. Embassy. And if that, that is the situation, we would want to leave around the 15th of May. You know, the competition is 17th, between 17th and 19th, and then we'll return the next day. I've enjoyed the conversation. I want to get my children and the schools around interested, so I'll talk to you later. But I've had in this studio, Abeku uh, Sumpa Nyakunlati. Good morning, and thanks for joining me this morning. Uh, Kevin Rodrabwaje is the team lead. Thanks for joining me. The GSTS Robotics Club, and um, their lead consultant and head coach, uh, GSTS Robotics Club, is also here, Henry Kukubwafo. Thanks for joining me. He's based in Kumasi, by the way. I, I hope that you get the visas to Michigan. But um, that's it for uh, discussion on robotics and how children are doing well. Well, not our children in Ghana, but those who, are, who have the club uh, in the various schools.